and welcome to The Green Interview. My guest today is Jeff Rubin, formerly Chief Strategist and Chief Economist at CIBC World Markets, a division of one of Canada's largest banks. Jeff Rubin has always been highly quotable and frequently controversial, and he was one of the first analysts to predict back in 2000 that the price of oil would go to $50 a barrel within five years. The whole notion of a global economy where we produce something at one end of the world, ostensibly to take advantage of cheap labor, and sell it at the other end of the world, doesn't make a whole lot of economic sense in a world of triple-digit oil prices because in so many cases, what we'll save on wages will more than squander on burning bunker fuel. Yeah, and now why is it that you're so, con I, the, la the latest forecast I heard that was supposed to have come from you was $225 by 2012. Well, 200, I don't know if the extra <laughs> 25 <laughs> came in, but okay. yeah, and, and you know, but the kind of changes that I'm talking about in the global economy we already started to see when oil crossed over $100 before this recent recession. And we're about to see again because, you know, the, the red ink on the post-war's deepest recession hasn't even dried. And where are we? We're over $80 a barrel. You know, three, four years ago, that would have been a wor all-time world record high. Now it's where oil trades, where in the first time in 30 years, world oil demand is not growing. So, you know, I think we will very quickly uh, meet, revisit triple digit oil prices. And at the end of the day, there's, there's not a whole lot we can do about it, but there's a lot we can do about trying to immunize our economy from its effects. Mm -hmm. Now, why are the prices going so high? Well, basically because it's not that we're running out of oil in some absolute geological sense, not even close. There's 165 billion barrels of oil in the Canadian tar sands, maybe as much in the Venezuelan tar sands, and if we suck those sands dry, there's oil and shale. But what the world has run out of is the oil that we can afford to burn, cheap oil, because the prices that will be needed to pull say, for example, four million barrels a day out of the Canadian tar sands, which is what the International Energy Agency is forecasting. Those same prices will translate into pump prices that will take millions of North American drivers off the road. You know, for, for Fort McMurray to become Saudi Arabia, it may be geologically possible, but it's not economically possible, is the point that I'm making, because the kind of prices that we'll need to make that economically viable will mean that it will no longer be practical for us to burn that oil. But of course, that's not where we've been getting the oil traditionally, right? That's, no, this is, this no. Is, this is novel. So what's happening to our traditional sources? Well, it's an excellent point you make because there's nothing really new about the Canadian tar sands. The Canadian tar sands have been known for decades. What's new is the idea that the Canadian tar sands could ever be a commercially viable source of oil production. And that's, what's changed is not the tar sands, what's changed is the rest of the world. <laughs> what's changed is the depletion of, you know, cheap conventional oil. Conventional oil, i.e. the type of oil you can afford to burn, that hasn't grown since 2005, and that may never grow again. You hear, you know, oil companies and oil producing countries have big gala press announcements about new field discoveries. What you never hear is announcements about depletion. But yet, every year, the world loses four million barrels a day of production to depletion out of a total of 85, 86 million barrels. Well, that means that we have to find 20 million barrels of new production over the next five years, just so that in 2014, the world will be able to burn as much oil as it does in 2009. And what we're losing is the cheaply produced light Arab sweet crude that costs three to four dollars a barrel to produce. 
And what we're replacing it with is synthetic oil from Canadian tar sands that cost $80, $90 a barrel to produce. That interview with Jeff Rubin took place in November 2009, and nothing that's happened since makes me question his analysis. Not everyone believes that we'll soon face shortages of oil and other hydrocarbons, but I do. If you're still wavering about this point, you may want to check out our interview with energy geologist Dave Hughes, who reviews the whole supply situation with the implacable, relentless logic of a scientist, and concludes that the energy supply problem is real and immediate. And you may also want to listen to our audio interview with Andrew Nikiforuk about the real economic, social, and environmental costs of extracting oil from the Alberta tar sands. Thanks for joining us. For The Green Interview, I'm Silver Donald Cameron. See you next time.